Hello everyone, I hope you understood the previous lecture well, the linear regression in TensorFlow. In today's lecture, I am going to discuss how to implement polynomial regression in uh, TensorFlow. Uh, basically, polynomial regression is uh, built on top of linear regression with the uh, higher order terms. So, it is uh, good to fit when your uh, data has a quadratic behavior or cubic behavior, etc. So, the syntax, the code uh, segment, everything is going to be the same. But I am going to just uh, speak a bit on the input uh, data and our model. Okay, so, let us get started. First, let us look into the math behind polynomial regression problem. Here, uh, data can be expressed as the sum of powers of x. So, in case of a linear regression model, so it just included uh, the power of 1. So, a naught x naught plus uh, a1 uh, multiplied by the x to the power 1. So, this was our bias term and uh, this was our weight and this was our input. So in case of polynomial regression, we add in higher order terms to uh, make a uh, better fit to our data. So, this term can also be expressed in terms of matrix. So, this is the matrix containing all the coefficient and uh, this is the matrix containing all the powers of x with in, uh, arranged in the increasing order. So, here uh, this is a polynomial of uh, degree n. So, let us uh, write our model in terms of uh, machine learning syntax. So, it is exactly same as our linear regression model except now we have a uh, higher order terms in x and uh, also the corresponding weight matrix. So, the weight matrix uh, now uh, contains n, uh, n rows and uh, similarly uh, x also contains xn basically the dimensions of the weight matrix depends on the order of polynomial which we are choosing so here i am choosing a order of polynomial n so accordingly the weight uh, also has uh, n terms all right so now uh, expressing uh, the above term in terms of uh, matrix multiplication it is uh, the transpose of weight, weight matrix into the x matrix. Moving on, uh, let us start coding. Uh, so, if you might have noticed, uh, linear regression is a specific form of polynomial regression containing the first two terms, uh, basically the bias term and uh, the power uh, x to the power 1. So, the code is going to be very similar. Uh, but for adding the higher order terms, so it is almost the same. So, let us see how to write the code now. Import all the necessary packages, NumPy for generating our data, uh, TensorFlow and uh, for plotting matplotlib and uh, import pyplot. So, here uh, it is very important to normalize your data also. Okay. And uh, here I am defining a quadratic function. So, it is uh, basically 5x minus 3x square is my function. So, you can uh, as uh, discussed earlier, uh, you can add some random noises also to make it more realistic. But uh, for simplicity, I am just going to restrict myself with uh, 5 and minus 3. It is basically my function is uh, 5x minus 3x square. But, uh, the very important thing is to normalize my data, otherwise uh, my weight matrix will uh, shoot over and uh, we will never have a convex uh, curve. So, I am going to define my x data from 0 to 3 with uh, 1000 points and uh, I am going to uh, put my first term x1 and uh, normalize it. So, np dot max gives the maximum uh, uh, value in that particular uh, array or matrix. Okay, so here it's an array, and uh, I'm going to write uh, define x to uh, basically x square, so x to the power two. np dot power uh, is the function built-in function inside uh, numpy for uh, uh, making it a square and I am normalizing it 
by finding the maximum value div and dividing it over the entire uh, array and I'm going to define my uh, output as uh, 5x minus 3x square basically 5 into the first term minus 3 into the second term alright and I'm going to reshape for making it processing so input dot size gives the size of the array so basically it's going to be 1000 comma 1 in this case next uh, let's define the model parameters so here uh, in case of polynomial regression n is one of the important uh, variables to define our model which is uh, n is nothing but the order of the polynomial so since uh, our model is uh, quadratic so quadratic fit would be a better choice over here but uh, i'll show you the results later what i derived for other uh, orders of polynomial as well now let's uh, define the weight so uh, weight and bias are variables so the change from the linear regression is the size of the weight variable since uh, uh, our order of polynomial is n so it, the weight should have n rows it's a column vector and our bias is just a scalar value all right now the next change is going to be in uh, our placeholder x so x will have terms up to the order of polynomial which is n okay. so y is again a scalar value i'm giving the shape none because uh, uh, I'm, uh, none basically defines i can fit in uh, lots of data it's going to be a row lots of rows and these are going to be columns so i find that uh, this uh, convenient all right and uh, uh, so we modified we uh, normalized our input data so when we are sending uh, the x vector to our uh, model we need to again uh, normalize it and also more importantly arrange in terms of power so the first column should be of uh, the order one and the second to the power two Okay, so here I have uh, defined a small uh, function so in order to modify my input vector so I'm going to take an x the size of the x uh, array and uh, the order of polynomial the value of n basically so I just uh, created a uh, matrix with uh, zeros so this is going to be the order number of rows and columns and uh, I'm going to modify it in terms of the power the first column with all the rows will be the power of 1 and uh, followed by the power of n till the power of n and uh, this uh, modify uh, underscore input uh, will return the value of the modified input containing all the x uh, and uh, in order arrange in terms of power column wise and uh, also it is normalized okay moving on uh, now let's define our model here i'm going to uh, define a variable called x modified basically i'm modifying my uh, input uh, array so here this is my input array space between uh, 0 and 3 and 1000 points before I use it for my model I need to modify it so I'll just call in this particular function that I just defined so this will have the modified uh, matrix containing all x normalized and uh, arranged in terms of increasing power and uh, my model remains the same I multiply uh, x with uh, w and add bias with it the algorithm the optimizer everything remains the same okay so let's go ahead and run uh, so here i have also written a comparison plot so how well my model fits into the data Uh, 
it's printing out the cost here so my model was uh, 5x minus 3x squared so I've got a fairly accurate uh, values and uh, I've plotted my uh, input data and also the predicted values so you see two plots almost merging together so it's fairly accurate uh, prediction these plots are for different values of n basically different uh, order of polynomial are uh, trying to fit uh, data so the first one is the linear fit n equal to 1 so it's basically a straight line it doesn't uh, really fit into our data our data is basically quadratic in nature and let's see how the quadratic fit uh, fits into our data so this is the quadratic fit I'm having a fairly accurate uh, model here and uh, so this is my best fit for my data this particular data set and uh, what about cubic fit n equal to 3 so it tries to uh, kind of overfit and uh, it's not fitting properly all right this is all about uh, polynomial regression I would like to make some few points uh, so here in my comparison I already generated a, a, a data which is quadratic in nature and uh, tried with uh, different orders of polynomial and uh, compared it with my training data itself so in general uh, when you try to fit uh, you might uh, have a different degree of polynomial because you won't know the nature of your data unless you try to fit in so uh, I'm not going to do it right now for you uh, I would but uh, I would like to you guys to try out uh, some new test data and uh, test it out with uh, how well your model performed with uh, new data because that will give you an idea how well your model fits into the test data basically it's the validation set so whether your model is uh, fitting properly, underfitting, overfitting, etc. So it would be a good homework for you guys. Alright. If you find any difficulty, do let me know. As always, uh, okay, I'm signing off. Thank you.